The Detroit Auto Show returns for 2023 with plenty of new cars. There's important reveals from Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis. While there's a lot of new cars, there's also a bit of a new format. The Auto Show is transitioning to a bit of a more consumer event. That means there's ride and drive opportunities for you to feel, touch, and see the vehicles up close on test tracks. There's also educational opportunities. Let's learn more about the Auto Show, the new cars, and the new format. First, the Detroit 3 all showed up with notable reveals. The new Ford F-150, the Cadillac CT5, the GMC Acadia, and the Jeep Gladiator. The F-150 is a significant refresh for 2024, and it features a new tailgate, bed dividers, and an updated design. The tailgate can now swing out. Ford joins the tailgate wars with Ram and GM, and the headlights give the F-150 a fresh look. The Tremor and Raptor are also updated as part of the model line refresh. Ford also displayed its entire Mustang lineup in a special after hours event featuring the Mustang GTD. The Jeep Gladiator gets new interior pieces, more trim levels called X-Badge and more options, just like the Jeep Gladiator has already received. A Jeep executive also confirmed that the Gladiator will get a 4xe powertrain by 2025 as the brand continues to go electric. The Acadia, GMC's long-running midsize SUV, also gets an update for 2024. It's larger, all of the engine choices are now turbocharged, and the design is now similar to the other GMC vehicles. The updates match those received by its sibling, the Chevy Traverse. The Cadillac CT5 was the other major reveal of the show. It gets an updated front end with a larger grille and larger LED lights, more tech and an updated interior with a slightly curved dashboard. Those are the major reveals, and in years past, that would have been it. But you may have noticed there's fewer of them, forcing Detroit show organizers to pivot to a more consumer-friendly event. Perhaps it's always been that way, but now the Detroit show has tweaked the floor layout, adding multiple test tracks. Consumers can go off-roading in Jeeps and Broncos. There's also an EV loop, an entire space devoted to learning about EVs. There's also dealer displays devoted to luxury car makers like Ferrari and Rolls-Royce. It's a different Detroit Auto Show. Yes, there were still several big deal reveals from Ford, GM, and Stellantis, but there are also more opportunities for consumers to see, feel, and touch the vehicles and even ride along in some of them than ever before. For Autoblog, I'm Greg Migliori.